Al Barrera here with the HWA YouTube channel interviewing Patrick Freebold. Patrick is a writer, a volunteer for the HWA, and a member of the Har University at 2017 StokerCon. Thanks for joining us today, Patrick. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. So you're a volunteer for the HWA who has won the Richard Lehman Award. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, sure. So I do two things as a volunteer for the HWA. The first is I'm the assistant compiler for the grant for the Branch Stoker Awards. And um, what the assistant compiler does is essentially uh, if people email com the compiler, then he answer questions about the award. And then my other glamorous job in that sense is um, if someone's on the recommendation list and they would like to add a link where HWA members can get a copy of their work, I add that link. So it's an important job. It's not terribly glamorous, but there it is. <laughs> um, the Richard Lehman Award came from the uh, being part of the PR team. I am the moderator of the Facebook page. So the HWA Facebook page has uh, over 8,000 members at this point. It might be over nine now. And it can sometimes get a little busy. Uh, my job mostly comes down to blocking spam. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of, uh, we get a lot of posts from uh, either fake accounts or just random people who are, buy my book, buy my book, you know, uh, those kinds of things. And so we have some specific rules to make the page as useful as possible. And my job is essentially to enforce those rules and occasionally get yelled at by strangers. So <laughs> it, uh, the, uh, I do this with Andrew Walter. He, he's the page administrator. Mm -hmm. And the two of us were uh, very graciously given the, um, the Richard Lehman Award this past year, which is the President's Award for Service. Richard Lehman was uh, president of the HWA. Um, some time ago and he passed away and to honor him they created this award for service and volunteerism and uh, so Andrew and I put in a lot of work uh, to make sure that everything's run, run smoothly behind the scenes there's there's really um, hours every week anyway to, to make sure that things run the way they do and mm. so it was very nice of them to, to, to do that to present us with that award and I'm very grateful that people appreciate what I do yeah well congratulations on the award man that is a uh, very respectable Thank you. So you are also working with the Har University at the 2017 StokerCon. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, I'm going to be running the same class I run I ran last year. That class is called Say More with Less. It's about word economy. And I started my obsession with word economy from my brother Jake. He, uh, he works in marketing. He's the vice president of marketing for a software company in New mm. York City. And he had a blog where he would take people's work and trim it down as much as possible. He started a flash fiction website, which he doesn't run it anymore, but it's called Flash Fiction Online. Mm. Uh, they do, uh, they're a pro market for flash fiction. So if anyone's looking for a cool 50 bucks for a thousand words, it's pretty nice. Um, but telling a story in a thousand words is very hard. And I started doing a lot of flash. And that involves punching up your words as much as you possibly can mm. and one of the things that editors notice a lot is extraneous stuff in your writing whether you you're going for a spooky creepy vibe or you're going for hard-hitting action or drama or romance or whatever if it's on the page you better have a really good reason for it being there mm. and little redundancies and uh, not even just purple pros just people use a lot of words that they really don't need and if you can cut the tone, I'm sorry, if you can cut the words without affecting the tone, without affecting the content, then you end up with something that's a much more engaging read. Mm. And I ran a blog for a little while where I was trimming down other people's work, and it was often 20, 30, 40% of the words I cut out without changing any of the content and while preserving the tone. Enough people liked that that they said, hey, would you teach this at Horror University? And I said, sure, no problem. And I did it last year and got really, really great feedback from my uh, from the participants. They came in and they, they really liked it. They said they got a lot out of it and it was really mm -hmm. useful. I've, I've, been, I've stayed in contact with several of them uh, over time. So it's been, it was really good. So I volunteered, I said, hey, I, are you interested in me doing this again this year? And they said, yes, absolutely, please do. And now, if anybody watching this wants to sign up, is there still space available? Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, there's space available for mine, and I think there's a there's a lot of other workshops too. So it should be really great. Fantastic! That sounds really fascinating. I can't wait to see it next year. Thanks. So before we go, I also hear that you make honey and are a beekeeper. Can you tell us a little bit about that too? 
Sure, I don't really make honey. I steal honey from bees. <laughs> um, I uh, I started keeping bees uh, pushing a decade ago, and I started with four colonies. I'm up to about 40 now. Um, on a good year, I can get two to three tons of honey. Uh, wow. I recently just started selling um, hot pepper infused honey, and it, it's a new business of mine that I'm putting up, and it's uh, it's going really, really well. I, I just started a website about. 10 days ago, 12 days ago, and sales have been really hot. People, no pun intended, uh, <laughs> people are really liking it. So uh, right now I've got habanero infused honey, and pretty soon I'm going to have ghost pepper and uh, Carolina Reaper infused. And it's it's really, really good. Oh, might as well plug the website. You can find it at frogspointhoney.com. All right, Patrick. Well, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And we will see you next year at StokerCon. I'll see you there.